Howdy everybody, I'm Sam Feifel. I'm the online editor here at Workbow and I'm here with Ron Hybers. He's the new head of Volvo Penta's Marine Division. How are you doing, Ron? I'm doing well, thanks Sam. It's great to be here. Now Ron, how did you come into your position? Were you outside of Volvo, inside of Volvo? How did it work? Well Sam, it's, uh, I'm thrilled to be with uh, Volvo Penta. This is really what I consider to be the soul of Volvo Group, but I've been with Volvo Group for now 20 years uh, in the truck, construction, uh, finance business, Mack trucks, etc. So really all around engines my whole life and sure. now to be in Volvo Penta is really exciting. Well so obviously you bring in an outside uh, perspective. You know, you, you come into this uh, commercial marine industry. What are some of the, you know, opportunities that you notice right away where you can take advantage? Well, I think what I see um, is what's exciting is my personal passion for being in the, on the water. Once I think all of us that are in this marine business, it's it's a vocation of choice. Uh, the iron business has also been my vocation of choice. So, uh, for me to be able to take a personal passion being on the water to come to the iron business and bring Volvo uh, is really exciting. What do I see for us? Uh, I see that Volvo is uh, from a global player. We have strength in all corners of the world uh, in all the commercial transports, the toughest uh, environments uh, going. And really here in North America, uh, we have an opportunity to leverage on the, the, the marine leadership we already have in marine leisure, uh, in the diesel side, and also uh, the position we are in marine commercial. But really what I'm bringing here for North America is now where, where we performed so well around the world, and really that's what we're taking here to, uh, to our customers in North America. Sure, now uh, people locally probably read in Workboat that you guys recently entered the Gulf market with a tow boat, sort of the first Volvo Penta engine in this, you know, Gulf market. What does opening up that market do for Volvo Penta and you know where do you go from here? Well Sam, uh, to be sure we're excited to be here and that uh, we'll have a christening tomorrow and That's right. uh, it's a very exciting time for us and our uh, new distributor Almond Brothers, a long time well known family in this area, have looked at the marketplace and have seen that Volvo has the product range to, to cover working uh, the workboat market. So to be sure, this is maybe the first time, uh, and it's a big celebratory event for us, but we've done well around, the, uh, we have, as you'll see over here, Stevens Towing, we have many customers in other markets. So sure. really this is an exciting market for us, and uh, we have a new distributor also up uh, up the river, uh, CK Power, another well-known uh, distributor, and who's also decided to take Volvo on board. Okay. So we're very excited with uh, them, because they know the local customers, and I know that they, they have the confidence uh, of the customers to look after them. Well, let's talk a little bit big picture getting outside of Volvo Penta. Uh, you know, as a global player, you kind of have an interesting perspective on this North American market. Everybody sort of expressing a little bit of optimism when I'm talking to them nowadays. What's your sort of view of where the market's going 2013, 2014? Yeah, I'd say that uh, the market uh, for us, our business plan is for uh, increased business next year, mm -hmm. and uh, part and parcel is because we see opportunities sure. that we can take to uh, Volvo Penta's uh, uh, and Volvo's well known, but there's a lot of corners that maybe doors we haven't knocked on, mm -hmm. and so I think uh, for us, we see an up market. But to your point, I think North America, we uh, see some firming up. I think the general uh, economic environment, we see some positive signals. And uh, also in South America, I mean, we've had some tough times, but we see a, we, we see a optimistic uh, future for next year. Mm -hmm. Let's hope that it can be uh, even more than what we have in our plans. Sure, when I talk to boat builders, uh, you know, sometimes they talk about, you know, literally the number of engines that are out there in the world. You know, there might be six engines and they almost feel like they've got to grab onto them. You know, how does, you know, the manufacturers sort of participate with the shipyard owners and, you know, make sure there's enough supply and enough demand and, you know, what's the sort of interplay there? Yeah, uh, uh, well, how we, we balance that is through uh, manufacturing footprints around the world, okay? So we have the flexibility. Uh, so you should know in North America we manufacture uh, uh, our 11, 13, and 16 liter engines here in Hagerstown, Maryland. And also in South America now that it, uh, our, we're now responsible for in Curitiba. So, and then we have other manufacturing footprints. So it's a matter of forecasting and working with our distributors mm -hmm. to uh, be able to um, have that supply set up. Uh, but uh, for the most part, that's really how we answer it, is having the, a balanced manufacturing footprint. Sure. I hope that answers your question. Yeah, absolutely. And let's talk a little bit about uh, environmental standards. Uh, you know, the EPA in the U.S. is, you know, making sure that, you know, boat builders are being responsible and what they're putting out there and carbon footprints are more important and even uh, the use of, you know, less fuel, you know, whether that's environmentally friendly or not, it saves people money. So, what, you know, what is Volvo Penta doing to, you know, help the owners and the builders make sure that they're with the standards and, you know, being responsible? 
Well, I think uh, that's a very good question, and it's obviously a much more emerging issue now here in Marine Commercial. But what's important for our customers to understand is that Volvo as a group uh, around the globe, environmental is uh, quality, safety, and environmental care, one of our core values. Mm -hmm. And why environmental care is, this is good timing. We believe that if we're part of the problem, we should be part of the solution. And so around the world, uh, the highest uh, emission regulations are actually right here in U.S., uh, the, the toughest emission regulations. And so we have the scale as a company to um, select the right technology that will give the long-term performance, the reliability, but also the fuel efficiency. And I think it's a matter of record that Volvo uh, uh, was, the, was, the, was the, the leader in uh, EPA 210, which is the on-highway. And that's mm -hmm. the toughest in terms of NOx and particulate matter. And the solution we picked Others have followed, and uh, the after-treatment solution now uh, improves fuel efficiency. It gets a diesel engine back to being what a diesel engine is. So we're very excited that for the marine commercial environment, what they should know is that what Volvo Penta will be bringing to them, today we will meet Tier 3, but as Tier 4 comes down the road, we're bringing proven technology that's uh, proven around the world and also in, in already the tougher emission uh, environments. All right, I hope well, that gives it. Well, thanks, Ron. We'll be looking forward to see those engines put into some new boats over the next couple of years. Appreciate it. Very good. Sam, thank you. Thank Pleasure you. Pleasure to meet you. Nice yeah. meeting you. Okay. And thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.